one thing I didn't realize, I'm glad you mentioned, is the pagan aspect. So the the, the spiritual side has these pagan aspects. There's also the postmodern aspect. I think you're right on the money there. Now, it seems to me that in in the Shastra, in our, you know, Bhaktivedanta tradition, scripture. we we're the scripture, yes. We the Vedas. <laughs> we are we are uh should I say educated, we, we learn that we should be spiritual and religious, right? We need both of them, right? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. It seems like, so we, we need spirituality and religiousness, and it seems there's also a golden mean. And especially in our society for Krishna consciousness, it seems a wise and logical to err closer towards the side of spirituality because it's in our name, Krishna consciousness. We are aiming for this state of God consciousness. So while we do need both, if, you know, we don't exactly always want to be exactly in the middle. So the golden mean, it seems to me, is closer to the spiritual side. Do you agree with that? Uh, sort of. I mean, I appreciate what you're saying. I would, we have, what we have to be aware of is to be sort of ca caught in a contemporary dialectic. I'm, I'm saying what, when you, when you fully accept it as kind of a trinity, if you will, it, where it's not just two extremes, but there's a third item there then there's no longer a bouncing back and forth. What's like, a, what, like, like, what's the third item? The the mean, the middle. Oh, oh it's the balance or the. Yeah, yeah. They're I, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that you're right. I, I, but I, I would just say it that, if you're somewhere around the middle, that's good enough. <laughs> you know, if you're because, <laughs> like some people, for example. Some people, if they're not kind of strict about the religious side and they sort of slack in there, uh, you know, their whereabouts may soon be unknown. I mean, they may really sort of glide off the off the graph or something. So, so some people are sort of holding on to dear life for certain principles. Other people, I know myself, uh, I'm sympathetic to what you're saying because if someone is following basic principles, they're not like a super sadhana athlete where they're, you know, practicing everything, but they follow the basic principles. For example, Prabhupada, I don't want to minimize the importance of, let's say, going to a morning class or seeing the deities, but Prabhupada did require for initiation, which is a big deal, just two things. Don't do four harmful activities and chant japa. And that's all Prabhupada required. Yeah, so yeah. I, I think if someone is, you know, doing their best and is a good person and really wants to serve and wants to help others and is is doing their best, then yeah, I, I think that's great. And and personally, I would agree with you in this sense. I would rather hang out with someone. If I had to choose, let's say I, I, had, I was stuck for a few days on an island and I had to choose between a person who maybe, you know, who basically decent and followed base, you know, basic principles, but wasn't like really great at all the spiritual practices, but was a nice person. And the other choice was someone who is very strict, but is just not such a nice person. Not, then I would absolutely choose the first one. So, I mean, no question. I would. Okay. Pick, I would pay to avoid the second one. <laughs> I would pay good money. Yes, I think I would too. So we agree there.